I really love giving my videos obscure titles. It always assures a differing rotation of weirdos. Oh, Dennis. Today. I was up early today. I'm pretty hungry, actually. No, I stop and think about it. Damn it, I haven't eaten today. Son of a bitch. Oh, it's always when you start doing something that you think about all those other things that you should have done. Well, one thing is for sure, there are no quick answers in this situation. <laughs> I should eat though. I don't have available funds to purchase anything. So I guess we'll be having a sandwich right quick. I'm gonna fuck off with a sandwich and I'm gonna smoke a damn bowl about it. How about that shit? Mm mm mm. Oh boy. It's not quite 10 30 yet. And I have about 0.6 of a gram of medication. So, looks like I'll be attempting to take out another loan today. And given the time scale before I see a paycheck, uh, I'm thinking it ought to be a pretty hefty amount. So, I'm going to try to swing me some kind of bulk deal. But if not, I'm just going to eat the cost of what it costs to get, like, at least a half ounce. Maybe an ounce. Need an ounce of that Primo Sativa. That's what I need. Or Sativa Dominant Hybrid. Something energetic and happy, preferably. That's what I need. That strong shit. Oh yeah, it's sandwich time. Peanut butter jelly. Then I'll smoke some damn weed. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. You wanna see something cool? I'm gonna flip flop the camera. I have never in my life had a goddamn reaction that hard to where it's literally fizzed up. And I mean, that's after. That's It should have done that reaction initially, but it did that after. So that's going to be a particularly fizzy batch of Limeade. Not that I don't have, like, massive armies of Limeade in my, uh, in my collection there. And I've got more bottles, and I'm making more limeade. So, um, at last count, I had 52 bottles. And I thought that was pretty fucking cool. It's like, the next time someone tells me I'm not playing with a full fucking deck, I'm going to be like, oh yeah? <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, God. Since, uh, hmm... Yeah, um, Lemon Topaz is one of the best I've come across. Very happy, very energetic, but it is a rare phenotype. So, maybe hard to find. Uh, other than that, I really had a good time with Clementine. That was... There's things I need. There's things I expect from weed. I need it to be euphoric, happy... Positive, uplifting, all that something, something in there. And I need it to be um, energetic. And I need it to uh, uh, help with anxiety. I need those three things from weed. Um, like, I'll tell you right now, like, my grinder, I keep a dime in my grinder so I can have the key. So when I run out, there is something backed up. And, you know, then there's resin. I always save my resin. So there's something. And then when I get down to like the last little bit, I will save 
the last little nug, maybe a bowl. That's self-control. Don't tell me I don't have it. I will sit here ready to blow my goddamn brains out, and there will be a little fucking bowl hidden, waiting for the moment of relief. So, if something good happens, I can conduct myself accordingly. Or if I just absolutely fucking decide this is it, life is not worth living, then I can feel a little bit of joy on the way out the door. <laughs> what is this bullshit? Over here. Ding! An inarticulate no. Wow. Look, let me show you something right quick. Lloyd Ritchie thinks he's clever, and I don't, I don't understand. There's only one thing to understand. Anarchy means two things. You don't tell me what to do, and I don't get to tell you what to do. Most anarchists forget that last part. It's pretty fucking important. You don't get to tell other people what to do. Ah! You never get to have anarchy, as long as you are telling someone else what they can and cannot do. As long as you're doing that, you're an asshole, not an anarchist. Try communism. That works well for some. <sighs> mm. You know... Shut up, cat! Fucking goddamn beg for fucking stupid shit. Beg for things he doesn't even want. Bitch, you ain't gonna lick jelly. Um. Uh, indica. Yeah, I can't do indicas. They will knock me the fuck out. I need to be up and doing shit. Now, where's I going? I just want to clarify something right quick before I go forward with this train of thought. I don't like ANCOMs, I don't like commies, I don't like socialists, I don't like communism, I don't like socialism, I don't like fascism. For a while there, I was, you know, identified as an ANCAP, and I dropped that pretty quickly to go over to agorism. I like that better. But, um... I'm just going to have to go ahead and say right quick that ANCAPs, anarcho-capitalists, can tend to be a pack of fucking idiots. Sorry. <laughs> it's just fucking true. I mean, it's like... It's like they like to take all the positive things of capitalism and celebrate it so that they can eventually fuck themselves over. I really don't understand um, the mentality there. And then there's this horrific sense of self-entitlement that seems to go along with it. I don't know how that disease hitchhikes into such a philosophy. It doesn't seem like it would fit, but... There it is, living away, fucking doing its goddamn thing. And it's like, dude, you're not special. You're not a beautiful or unique fucking snowflake, okay? You are not the contents of your fucking wallet. Congratulations. We all think we're self-important. And this is a universal fact. It's part of the survival mechanism of anything alive on the planet Earth. You are the most important thing in your fucking sphere of existence. Mm, that's a long... I, I care about things and I like to research. I agree you're a statist or not. I agree with that fundamentally. But there are differences in ideologies. There are differences in ideologies. And it's worth knowing them. It's like the saying goes, know your enemy, know your enemy. See, it's like, people like to talk shit about things and talk about all the things they don't like about something. 
yet they've never taken the time to do any research about it other than face value anecdotal shit that, um, that um, you know, they don't know anything about. They, they can't val uh, verify or validate that. That's why I like to ask people one simple question. How do you measure something that you've never seen the other end of? You've never seen it. You don't know what it looks like. You can't describe it to me. So you know point A without seeing point B. How are you going to give me a, a, a measurement of that now? You can't. It's impossible for you to do so. Antifas, they can fuck themselves too. Let me tell you something. Anti-anything is inherently bad. Now let me explain that. That confuses some people. Anti-anything is inherently bad. What I mean by that is that the more you fight against something, the more you will become the very thing that you despise. Okay? This is very true. Look at the war on drugs. In trying to stop criminals, you become the biggest fucking criminal in the world. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't like the ill-informed either, and Americans are fucking stupid. However, here's another side of the coin. You do not make friends or gather anyone to your side by being the world's largest asshole. Now I know, that's ironic coming from me. I'm, that's not lost on me, okay? <laughs> but it is true. That's why you don't see me out there debating people. That's not my job. I don't do that. That's not what I do. I don't have the patience or the tolerance for it. That's for other people. Some people love arguing with idiots. Let them do it. I don't give a fuck. Everybody has their niche, man. You can't take an ideology and then say everyone must adhere to everything that is here. Especially when that ideology is supposed to be about freedom and individual rights. Okay? And that's why I like to dehyphenate my anarchy. I'm not an anarcho-communist. I'm not an anarcho-socialist. I'm not even an anarcho-capitalist. Okay? You can invent new terms now. I'm not an anarcho-fascist either. Okay? Or a syndicalist. Or a individualist. Or a, you know, antrans. Or a fucking, you know, whatever the fuck you want to call yourself now. An anarcho-fucking trans existential fucking, you know, para-being or some shit. Whatever the fuck you want to be. I'm an anarchist, straight up. Dehyphenated. There you go. No government, no rules, no law. Don't try to abolish the systems of the state and the functions of the state and then try to reprivatize all of those functions. So now you have a privatized state. Cool. It's a corporatocracy. You want to tear down what is and create basically what is, but under different guises, basically. And that's the, that seems to be the ANCAP motto, and I'm very much not with that. If you try to rob me, I'll fucking kill you. Problem solved. We didn't even need a court for that. Isn't that awesome? No money got lost in fucking red tape and paperwork and court costs and bullshit and probation and drug wars and nonsense. Nobody had to hire a privatized security fucking force, a.k.a. corporate police. 
I don't like cops, so I'm going to make cops be corporations, because I don't like cops and I don't like corporations, so I'm going to make cops be corporations. Fuck you. Clear the fucking bird shit out of your brain, please. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's some really fucking stupid ideas floating out there. And that's all this shit has become. And I'm tired of it. I'm really tired of it. Anarchy has stopped being about anarchy. And it started being about people like this, you know, that are like... It's much of the people that are... Yeah. Yeah, no, basically what it is, is like, oh, I believe in anarchy, but I'm also a self-important prick. So I need to hyphenate it with so that you can know this is my own special brand of snowflakeism. Okay? That's basically what it is. Um... There's a word. There's a word. Hang on. I fucking forget exactly what... Neologism. I remembered it. I didn't even have to Google it. I'm Oh, I'm so proud of myself. Neologism. Coining a new phrase or term, or a newly coined phrase or term, is a neologism. So, you know, yeah, basically this is a society of neologisms. We love to create new words, phrases, and terminology to define our own unique brands of bullshit. Isn't that awesome? Get over yourselves. Holy fuck, man. This fucking New World Order divisionist agenda bullshit is really fucking gaining feet footwork here. Let me tell you. I posted a simple post. I'm going to read it. Because this shit is cracking me up right now looking at it. No shit. Simple post. If you overthink your philosophy to the point that you can no longer discipline your children, it may be time to take a step back. To which I was replied, Discipline does not require assault. I didn't say beat the motherfucker. There's a difference between discipline and assault. There's a line in between there. You cannot do both. Neologism. But I like that. Neologism. Neologism. Uh, neologism? <laughs> Neologism. Um, discipline does not require assault. This is what I was told. My reply to that was, Anarchy does not require your edicts to be adopted by anyone. Simply meaning, you don't get to tell other people what to do. The response to that, dot, 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 since I did not and am incapable of issuing edicts, I'll take your response as an inarticulate non sequitur. Really? So you're going to use big words while missing the point. Oh, the irony. Oh, what a stupid fuck you are. Mm-mm-mm. That's so special. That I am going to do this now. Lloyd Ritchie. Mmm. Holy shit. You are dumb. And guess what? You get to go the fuck away. See, you're not special. You're not a beautiful or unique snowflake. And I'm not going to argue with you. I'm going to tell you the way shit is exactly, word for word, and then you can argue with me. And depending on your level of arguing and how you want to fucking word shit, I'm probably going to get rid of you. I may not fucking, I may not block you. I, you know, just may turn off the notifications for the post and let you ramble to yourself. But there comes a line where you are absolutely disrespectful and self-important to a level where I don't want to know you. Lloyd Ritchie has met that requirement and exceeded it. So, there you go.
Okay, I don't know what that means. People post shit and it's like, okay, I mean, did you expect me to know every detail of your personal fucking set of rules? Because... We're Facebook friends. I don't really know you. That's why I don't take the time to sit here and explain myself to every fucking person I know. I don't need to explain myself. People are only capable of interpreting based on their level of fucking perception anyway. So it doesn't matter what the fuck I say to you if you don't understand it. People are dumb, man. Holy shit. Everyone's bitching and moaning, too, by the way. That's worth throwing out there. Everyone's bitching and moaning. Pick your group, okay? Commies are bitching and moaning. Socialists are bitching and moaning. Feminists are bitching and motion, moaning. Fuck him. You know... The gender weirdos out there, fucking... There's 76 genders! Ugh, I'm fucking retarded! Oh, damn, they're bitching and moaning. Everybody's bitching and moaning. Anarchists are bitching and moaning. Even the statists are bitching and moaning. Everybody's bitching and moaning. That's life. That's human nature. We bitch and moan about shit. Um, you know... We, um, hang on here. Whose law was it? I think I know, but... Just... Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs. So, or Law of Higher Needs. So, you know, the more things you have in life, the more things you perceive that you think you need in life. You know, uh, the things you own basically end up owning you. And the same can be said to an extent of thoughts and ideologies. Uh, you know, you can think yourself right into a shithole. You know the beautiful thing? You know what's really awesome? And that few people really truly grasp in this world today? It doesn't matter what the fuck you think. It doesn't matter what I think. None of this shit matters, dude. It's really quite hilarious to watch all these people giving a fuck. And it doesn't matter. You're all giving a fuck about the wrong shit for the most part. It doesn't fucking matter. Fucking stupid. Fucking ridiculous. So yeah, we're all fucking snowflakes and we're all fucking bitching. Really and truly, when you get down to it, we're all snowflakes. It's just, some are really fucking major pussies. But, um, shit, man. It's fucking silly. So many of these so-called fucking anarchists are just absolutely wrapped up in... You must believe what I believe. I'm an anarchist. You've got to believe what I believe. My way is the only way. I'm an anarchist. Do what I say. No. That's not what anarchy is. Shut the fuck up. No one is going to do what the fuck you say. That's like... Anarchy 101, dude. God damn. People are fucking dumb. <sighs> Time for weed. 
Oh no, I'm coming, dodgy oh, whiz. I'm thinking out loud. God damn it, dude. Seriously. Make a post. You know, somebody comments some cryptic shit. And I'm just like, question marks. What the fuck does that mean? Oh, well, I'm just thinking out loud. I'm not your fucking brain gasm jizz rag. Get the fuck out of here. Form coherent thoughts or piss off. It's always gotta be a fucking female, too. God damn it. Why are females, nine times out of ten, it's always a female who's the goddamn fucking grown-up child. Fucking exist in reality, princess. I hate it when chicks call themselves a princess. It's like, aren't you a grown-up? And you think you're a monarch? I don't know whether to fucking give you a goddamn padded helmet or murder you. Fucking hell. <laughs> This is really why I don't like Facebook. I don't like dealing with other people's ignorance. And it's a non-stop barrage of it, trust me. That's why my friend count keeps continuously going down. I mean... There may be like ten of you, maybe, that I think's really awesome. More than half of you, I don't give a fuck about, honestly. <laughs> I like less than half of you half as well as you should like, and I like more than half of you half as well as you deserve. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <coughs> <coughs> That's all right, though. You know what? Working more hours means less time on Facebook, less stress, bullshit, fucking, even dealing with fucking nonsense, don't even matter, just bullshit. Oh, look at me, I fucking can, I can think bullshit and type it out loud, good for you, here's a sticker, fuck ass, <laughs> you know, goddamn, who gives a shit? Look at me, I think my ideas are important too. Fucking, alright. Awesome. Less time doing that shit. More time making money. More time fucking having weed. Not being out of weed. Ever. Again. And, you know, resources to achieve goals. Maybe not as much time, but... Oh my god. So, pet peeves and annoyances, right? So, yesterday, I fucking worked the evening shift. I'm sitting there trying to, uh, you know, whole day I'm getting shit ready. You know what I mean? Getting things done, cleaning up, and fucking, you know, go to the store, groceries. Did I do that yesterday? Probably the day before. Fucking, you know, prep dinner. That way, when I'm get off work as soon as I'm off the fucking clock I can start making dinner then fucking cleaning up and all that shit and then you know by the time I'm cleaning up so there's nothing left to fucking do so I can sit right here and enjoy playing a game for about a fucking hour maybe 
you know, because I'm already tired by this point. So, you know, so what happens then? I can't do that. I'm sitting here playing the same fucking mission like four times and getting my ass handed to me because my roommate's trying to have a conversation with me from the other fucking room. Some text comes and he's like, hey, where's Pure Life in? It's Albuquerque. Starts coming in here reading me text messages about 420 specials. It's like, dude, I'm already borrowing money to buy weed. Do I look like I have money for weed? I don't know. You tell me. You'll have to give it to me right now. Am I in Albuquerque right now? No, I'm not. Guess what? I'm going to be right here working every goddamn day. So me being in Albuquerque, probably not a thing that's fucking going to happen for a long time. Like a lot less likely that being 420, which is tomorrow. Yeah, me being in 420, me being in Albuquerque tomorrow for 420, not going to fucking happen. So me having to hear about it is complete completely a waste of my fucking time. So, I guess I'll just stop playing my fucking game now and just go to watching YouTube. Oh, you're done bothering me? Okay, bye, have fun doing, watching television, zombie fucking tube, and doing what you enjoy. God knows. Maybe tomorrow. Which, speaking of, that's what I should be doing instead of talking to your fucking stupid ass. I should be on my goddamn computer enjoying this one single solitary fucking moment to play a goddamn game. It's the little things in life, man. I mean, I like them. Keep yours the fuck out of my face. I don't give a shit about yours. I'm very selfish and I only like my needs. But I'm honest about it. See, other people will go to you and say, Hey, I only, give a, I only give a fuck about myself, but I'll pretend to give a shit about you, too. And then, when they don't, you can act surprised. But in reality, no one really gives a fuck about you, dude. We're all self-important. We're all very self-important, dude. That is, a, that is a thing programmed into the human genome. It's called survival instinct. You are self-important by natural design. Mm, mm, mm. So, uh, damn, my fucking connect has been out of connect for like 13 hours, and I am fucking disturbed by this. I need some price questions answered. I can't be going spending $14 a goddamn gram today. That shit is not happening. Let's see what this is. Bitch, I asked you a damn question because I wanted you to elaborate, not give me a wordier version of your original fucking nonsense post. Elaboration, it means add adjectives to your bullshit so that it provides a deeper explanation. Do I need to explain that? Apparently I do. Guess what, you're dumb. I just don't play with dumb. I'm not entertaining dumb. You have no potential to be a human being. Sorry. You 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 deserve death. Sorry. Bye. Bye, Audrey. Fucking twat. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, we should fucking, you know... There is a case to be made for eugenics. I don't necessarily want to make it right now. But God knows it exists. Look, certain cultures evolved to harbor intelligence. Smarts is what will keep you alive. Certain cultures evolved to uh, nurture brute strength. Being strong and able to work long and hard is what will keep you alive. 
both have value, neither are inferior, both are important traits. We can merge the two, however, and have stronger, smarter people. We don't have to have one or the other just dipshits running around. I say fucking, whatever you find the stupid gene, get rid of it. I'm sorry, Timmy, but you're too dumb to live. I mean, goddamn. I mean, why do we have to nurture stupid? It's like patience and the virtue, though. I mean, you gotta give people time. You gotta give people time to think. No, you don't. It's called natural selection. You know, fucking dipshit animals, they get killed. Oh, you're not smart enough to run away from the snake? Well, you're a dead motherfucker. Guess what? You fucking don't get to fucking nut in a pussy and make fucking babies. Cool. Isn't that awesome? I like it. I think it's awesome. It's an awesome fucking idea. Ooh. Hey, look at this shit. It might give me an inch, maybe. I see that you are online, and I would like for you to look at me. I'm Mr. Me, see, so look at me! I'm about to get answers to my questions, oh buddy. It's time to re up on my medication. Mm, come on, won't you sell me my medication? I'm not trying to kill some motherfucker today. So sell me my goddamn medication, okay? Oh dear. Where is he? It's actually 80 cheaper. It's 80 bucks cheaper. I like it. Seventy cheaper. Yes, sir. I aim to fucking make a purchase today, large scale. Yes, sir. And Mr. Meeseeks, look at me. 110. So 14. That's 30 cheaper. 30, 70.
Wipe what somebody's day. Ha 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 ha. How can I watch the fucking day? I got rid of that shit. Can't watch nobody's day. I ain't trying to watch nobody's day. Fucking day. Oh, more people looking at my shit and then saying, oops, I didn't mean to click that. There's this fucking guy. Jesus. Your connection is weak because you're right by the fucking router. Fuck you, Facebook. You're full of shit. Your connection's weak. Yeah, okay, Facebook. Whatever. Um, that was just saying. Yeah, can you do that today, by the way? I should ask. Can you do like something large like that today? Yes, I am. I am working. Yes, sir. I have a job. I can afford what I fucking say. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. All right. Yep. Making deals, spinning wheels. Okay, so I probably need to add about $210 to my fucking list of debt. It can be done. I can do this. I 
hang on, actually, so if I were going to the other players on sale day, let's see, it would be 70, 140, two, it'd be 280 to get the same amount. $70 saving. Well, kids, I was going to smoke a bowl with you guys, but, uh, I'm working plans and everything's in motion here, and that's just kind of how life goes right now. I do what I can do as I can do it, and I'm doing my best, you know, trying to live and all that shit, so I have to acquire a massive amount of my fucking medicine, and I have no money, and I have to acquire that, and, uh, if you will excuse me, I, uh, have deals to arrange uh refer now to the ferengi book the ferengi rules of acquisition over there um peace